It's the Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch and the carrying case, and we're unboxing them right now. Here it is, Animal Crossing New Horizons Special Edition Nintendo Switch. You can see here in the front, this is the same artwork as we have seen before, only this doesn't have any of the characters in it except for Tom Nook. You can see Dodo Airlines in the back, and that's actually where you can go to visit friends' islands or have them visit yours. Also, you can redeem your Nook Miles to visit other islands and get rare items. Here's the Switch dock. You have a new switch design on the back here and then new Joy-Con and got some wood grain there on the side. On this side, let's see, it is explained that there's a pattern on the back, island pattern console with two-tone Joy-Con controller. More on that here in a little bit. Oh, and then there's Dodo Airlines on the back, Nook Inc. Love it, gotta love it. Look at them all happy and jolly. Nintendo and and it actually tells you the contents that come inside so if you ever wondered what was inside of it high-speed HDMI cable it does include HDMI cable and a Joy-Con grip and a switch dock it shows you everything that's in the box and of course I'm Shibby if you want to see more Nintendo switch coverage hit that subscribe button and remember to tap the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications <sighs> So the first thing that you see when you look at this, obviously, is these awesome Joy-Con. This console right here, it looks the same from the front. No surprise there, but look at these. Here are the Joy-Con, and these are pastel colors, but they're also kind of neon as well. They really pop with the black. It looks so cool. That's what's so cool about Joy-Con. They almost always look really nice with the black, as long as they're lighter colors. And here they are coming in with that two-tone. This is actually kind of what I was what I was expecting. People were saying this was white, and I was calling it kind of calling it a gray just from the pictures. But just for reference, here's the back of this packaging. This white. So here's kind of reference. So this is an off-white. I wonder how you feel about that. Leave me a comment below and let me know. Do you like the off-white or would you have preferred just white white? I personally think this looks really cool, again, especially with the black. This is one of the things that really, really stands out with this release. Also, as of this video, these will be sold separately in Japan as well as the dock. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I have a bunch of different Joy-Con and I will be testing out different color combinations. There it is. Ah, the dock. But before we get into that. In case you don't have a Switch yet, because a lot of people will be buying a Switch just for Animal Crossing, this is the Joy-Con grip and it doesn't have any power at all. What you do is you actually can slide the Joy-Con in here and it kind of acts as a controller. That way if you're going to be playing a more competitive game, it really does help you. Now obviously a Pro Controller is going to be better for those things, but it's something that Nintendo throws in there just in case you're a faithful Joy-Con girl or Joy-Con boy like me. Also in the box you get HDMI cable and charger slash power cable. This is kind of cool too, when you open it up the side of the box actually has instructions. So plug it in, set it up, when attached to the Nintendo Switch console, the Joy-Con controller batteries will also charge, so it explains a little bit of that as well. Also in the box, you get these Joy-Con straps with, again, that same color, and it doesn't matter which Joy-Con you use these on, so you can actually mix and match it. What this does is it actually just helps you have better shoulder buttons if you're playing games that require just one Joy-Con per person, and then you can also use this strap here if you feel like you don't want to throw this at your grandma. Now let's check out this dock and then I want to take a look at the console and also check and see if it's the new version with the better battery in it. I'm sure it is, but I just want to see if there's a way on there to physically confirm it. Oh, look at that. Why you just look at that? Got some foam, extra padding on the packaging. Of course, you've got Tom Nook and you've got Timmy and Tommy. Some familiar faces there. Stranded on a little tiny island. Golly, somebody get on some Dodo Airlines and go save them, huh? Now I have to say, this is my least favorite part of this Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch, but it's a lot better in person. I don't know why, but 
Everything I saw made me feel like this was just kind of low quality. This is actually a really good paint job. You know what I mean? It's really, really clean lines. I don't know why I always thought it was gonna be kind of textury. It's not. You can feel it on there, so it is paint, but yeah, it looks like it's done really, really well. And that's pretty cool. I guess that's actually on the regular dock. I had just never seen it because it wasn't, there was no contrast in color before. So that's really neat. Obviously, that's still black. You just put your switch in there and it switches to your TV seamlessly as long as you got everything plugged in right there where it's supposed to go. We need to look at the back of this beautiful console, but I did promise that I would be doing an unboxing of this Aloha Edition carrying case as well. So let's take a quick look at that. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Ain't she a beaut? That's nice. That is really nice. If you are going to get this, this Nintendo Switch, I highly recommend this. Tote it around in your Animal Crossing case. They are sold separately. I remember when they announced that, I was like, wait, what? But it makes sense. Here's the case. Oh, and it's black on the inside, just like the Joy-Con. You got the black, and you got the bright neon, you got the pasta, you got everything, and you got a screen protector. Come on down, come on down. And now, here is the Switch itself. Save the best for last. Let's get to the back here. Oh, I'm telling you, this is the coolest. To really see everything going on, you have to really have it hit the light in a certain way. Because if you're just glancing at it, it really can look like there's no design. This angle looks really, really cool. You can see it's got that pattern to it. It's a really, really unique and special design. So let's take a look at this design. In the top right, we've got a mouse with an ax and a tent and a shark fin. Yes, you can catch sharks in this game. We've got a sailboat. And then up here, we've got a patio and a bunny. I'm not the best with the animal names, so if you do know their names, let me know. Although, I'm pretty sure that's Louise there on the left. Then we've got a cat watering some flowers. The balloon is back, which we know brings gifts down from the sky. And then here's a more familiar campsite here with a hammock and an animal there. Got a couple trees over here, and then the whale. Hopefully the whale is back from the first game. We've got that, and then the lighthouse with an animal. And then over here we've got the message in the bottle, which is back which was in a couple games previously. And then over here we've got a winter scene complete with a snowman. As far as texture goes, honestly, I don't feel much, if anything. So a lot of people are talking about how this is embossed or what have you. Yeah, I really am not getting that effect. I believe it's just the paint. I believe it's black paint on the black plastic because it feels similar to the actual dock paint on there as well. I mean, if you're feeling for it, if your eyes were closed, yeah, you can feel the difference, but you can't really tell what's going on. I think what's more cool about it is just the fact that the paint is reflective on a matte surface, and that's really what just makes it pop. I've got the V1 switch, the day one launch switch, and if we can kind of compare them, the V1 switch, this is kind of a, a gray almost, faded kind of white look, and I don't think it's worn off, because it's pretty uniform, so I think that's just how it came. This is gonna be more vibrant on the Animal Crossing switch, which again is awesome, it just pops with that black, but it still is a little bit of that, I wanna say kind of a bone color. Also, what I was really curious about, what the model number was gonna be. So you see the day one, the V1 switch, HAC-001. Well, when Nintendo made a new version of it that looks the same, but it has a little better battery, they named it a different model number, which is actually what this one has. So HAC-001, parentheses, dash zero one. That means that this one does have the better battery life than the V1 switch, which we thought it would. I just didn't know if this was gonna be a different model number or anything. No, this is the same as the V2 switch. So if you were worried about that, have no fear. You are getting the best battery life you can get out of a switch. If we compare docks, you will see they are physically identical. This logo is obviously missing off the front. However, Nintendo did add that to the top, whereas you don't have that 
on the other switch. And on the back, on both, as like I said, this is a physical feature, so that is going to be identical. Obviously, this special edition Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch is awesome. Please drop a comment below and let me know what your favorite part is. For me, it's definitely going to be the actual Switch itself and or the Joy-Con. The dock, I'm not a huge fan. Anybody else out there, do you want to defend the dock? Let me know. If you love Animal Crossing and you don't have a Switch yet and you can get one of these, definitely, by all means, pick it up. If you already have a Switch, that's a different story. That's gonna be all up to you and what makes it worth it to you. If you already have a V2 Switch, well, that's an even harder discussion to have. Have you seen my unboxing video for Nintendo Switch Lite? If not, click that box right there to check it out, or click this other box to check out one of my other videos, and I'll see you over there. Please, if you liked the video, like it, and remember to subscribe for more content.